Okay, first of all, your name and title. Constable Kenneth Hayden, Montgomery County Precinct 4. Tell me, uh, give me some details. You've got an update uh, pretty much on the uh, threats against these people in Splendor with the, uh, with the Facebook claims. Tell me a little about it. Well, at this time, we have a, um, a suspect in custody. Uh, we have a 13-year-old female uh, Splendor resident uh, in custody at this time. She was located at a residence down in Harris County uh, where she was staying with some relatives. Um, our investigators went to that location, uh, was able to make contact with this, this person, and uh, she was taken down to the Harris County Courthouse, um, taken before a magistrate. And from there, she was transported to the Juvenile Justice Center in Conroe. What kind of charge are you looking at on this? Uh, right now, she's facing a, a terroristic threat charge, which is a felony, third-degree felony. Uh, tell me how it classifies as a third-degree felony. What, what uh, brings it up to a third-degree felony in this? Well, the, the threat that she, she broadcast was a general um, threat to the public of the residents of Splendor. Uh, that she was going to cause bodily harm, bodily injury to the to pub, the public in general, which made it a felony third degree. What about? Uh, I mean, y'all have been pretty much on this this, this whole weekend. Your team, your uh, computer team, uh, computer uh, team, everything else. Tell me a little bit about the investigation. How long it's taken? What? How many hours have been put into this? Something like this. We were notified about this late Friday evening, and um, our Internet Crimes Division they worked um, worked on this throughout the weekend. Um, dealing with um, f with Facebook and um, they, w they had to get some grand jury subpoenas issued and um, tracking down the suspects taking the majority of the we their weekend um, but like I said this late tonight they were able to locate a suspect. What about you know, Facebook wasn't cooperating at first but then they came through later on and helped y'all out on this? Yes Facebook um, at first did not cooperate um, and, and later on in the investigation, they, they did fully cooperate. So how, how, I mean, serious is Some of these kids think it's a little game just to throw something like this out there. Tell me how serious something like this is. Well, it's very serious. It's, um, it's something that we don't take, we don't take lightly. Um, if it happens, we're going to investigate it. And um, we'll refer all the charges over to the, the Montgomery County Attorney's Office. Uh, they, they prosecute all juvenile crimes here in Montgomery County. Well, this one here, you had called since basically since Friday from residents, from even from people coming out, uh, wanting, planning on playing baseball here today, afraid he's going to have people leave town. Tell me a little bit about that. The residents in the Splendor area, um, obviously, they took the threats very serious. Um, we've had multiple calls from residents um, that that were concerned about you know their safety throughout the weekend. Uh, we received phone calls from churches. The school district's been in contact with us throughout the weekend. Um, we've had um, little league ball organizations that had, uh, had had events going on throughout the weekend that they requested extra police presence because of it. What about the kids? How do the kids seem around? The, I mean, pretty shook up too. And we've had a lot of a um, lot of kids, um, as well as their parents, are contacting us, concerned about this. What happens now? Um, after tonight, we'll um, we'll refer all our charges over to the county attorney's office. We've um, we've had a county attorney prosecutor um, on board with this throughout the weekend, and uh, as well as the district attorney's office, and we will refer all our charges over to them. What can you say? I mean, you guys have worked this whole weekend on this days off, time off, but come back in from vacations. What uh, what do you what can you say about your guys? Um, you know, what can I say? I'm proud of them. They. Um, that they, they've taken this serious as well, and uh, they've put a lot of man hours throughout the weekend to try to, you know, locate a suspect and make sure that this stops. Um, Cyberbullying, uh, it, it's something that a lot of kids deal with every day, and uh, we're, we're glad to be able to try to help put a stop to it. What about the location where they found this 13-year-old? Uh, Were they locating computer equipment, and what was the status on that? They did locate some um, electronic computer equipment, which was seized at that time. Okay. All right. What What can you say about this girl now? Um, you know, we we realize that this is a this is a child, and um, you know that being said, we realize uh, you know kids are going to be kids. They're going to make mistakes. Um, you know, this is a very serious mistake, and we're hoping that that this person you know is, is going to learn from this and be able to move on with their life and. Um, and, you know, it'll be a big eye-opener to them, and hopefully they'll realize the seriousness of it and be able to move on and 
and not do it again. Got it.